Hey guys, Sasha from Mobile Geeks here. We are at the Asa Touch Lounge event in the Meat District of New York City and we are just getting our hands on on the new Acer Iconia A1. That's an entry level uh, 7.9 inch Android tablet. It starts at 169. But what we would like to do is because Andre already did some hands on videos, we would love to compare it to some of its competitors and especially the iPad mini because both of them are not only sporting the same screen size 7.9 inch, also the same screen ratio that's 4 by 3 and actually the very first Android tablet that I saw for a premium OEM that doesn't sport a 16 by 9 or 16 by 10. Plus over here we also have the 8 inch Galaxy Note 8. Right? So let's talk a little bit about the specification of the different devices. Well, first of all, 7.9 inch on the Ace Iconia A1 and on the iPad mini resolution is 1070, oh sorry, 1024 by 768 of course. I, the both sport um, one gigabyte of RAM. We have 8 or 16 gigabyte of internal storage on the Acer, while the iPad mini comes with 16, 32 and 64 gigabyte. This one comes with a MediaTek 1.2 gigahertz quad-core processor, that's an ARM Cortex-A9 um, SoC, while the iPad mini comes with a dual-core, I think it was the A6, right, that they put into the iPad mini, but it's also kind of a Cortex-A9. It's still Apple's very own architecture. And the Samsung here comes with the Exynos 4412 quad-core processor. That's actually exactly the same hardware as you know from the Galaxy Note 2. In terms of um, the operating systems, the one here on the Acer Iconia A1 is and the latest Android Jelly Bean, which should be Android 4.2.2. Here we go. This one is of course running on iOS 6. While the, uh, let me just quickly go to the settings. What I would expect that this is also a Jelly Bean 4. Point, is it 4.1? 4.1.2. Of course, the resolution is quite different here on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. That's 1280 by 800, and that's a 16 by 9 or 16 by 10 ratio. While this, while these both are sporting a 4 by 3. So what's the difference? You can see a little bit more when you're looking at website. Let's try to open a website. I'm not sure if this is connected to the internet. Doesn't look like it. Oh well, it is. So what you can see over here is something that Acer took over from Apple, kind of having this traditional, let's say, magazine or book ratio, while the Galaxy Note more comes with a, yeah, let's say, a movie ratio. So when you're watching movies or any kind of media, it definitely looks better on the Galaxy Note 8 compared to um, the iPad mini or the Acer Iconia A1. What about other hardware features? Uh, we have a 5 megapixel camera on the Acer Iconia A1. There's also 5 megapixel camera on the back on the iPad mini. And guess what? There's also 5 megapixel camera on the back of the Samsung Galaxy Note. Let's take a look at you know, all of these devices are roughly around 340-350 grams. And let's check out how thin they are. Well, the iPad mini in terms of the build quality, you can't beat this. You know, um, the other devices feel a little bit cheap with all the plastic. And as you can also see is that the Ace Iconia A1 is quite thick. Can't tell you anything uh, about the thickness or thinness of it, but I would guess that this is over 10 millimeters, definitely. But what you have to keep in mind, this is only a $169. So for $169, quad core with the latest Android Jelly Bean, um, with a proper build quality, 5 megapixel camera, I think this is an absolutely bargain. So if you're on the market for a cheap quad core Android tablet and you're looking for something different, maybe a 4x3 version and you don't really care so much about a high resolution display, check out the new Acer Iconia A1. That was a quick and dirty comparison of a bunch of uh, 7.9, 8-inch tablets. I'm Sasha from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching.